Welcome back. Who left these straws out? Oh yeah, it was me. I also have dish soap, a cup, paint, and water. I'm creating three portraits using bubble art. I'm using a tiny drop of soap, a smidge of paint, and about a quarter cup of water. Mix, mix, mix. Repeat for as many colors as you like. Grab your favorite watercolor paper, then embrace your inner child and blow dips. Wipe those bubbles onto the paper. Have your way with them. Do whatever you like. There's no wrong way to do this, but you should be having fun. Hey, are you having fun yet? If you didn't know already, these portraits are part of my 100 Painted Head Challenge. And today I'm painting number 9 through 11. Not that 11. Portrait painting is considered one of the most difficult skill sets as an artist. Which is why we're exploring it together, y'all. But I'm being different and I'm mixing it up because this is courageous painting. And I'm bringing you new techniques you can explore and incorporate into your own art with each video. Once your first layer of bubble art is dry, don't be afraid to add additional layers. You can even use the bottom of your cup to add more texture and detail. Beautiful. Let's give a warm welcome to Jelly Gouache! If you've been watching this series for a while now, you've probably picked up on the fact that I really like Jelly Gouache. I want to encourage you to use the medium that you're the most comfortable with. Just remember to keep it loose to help embrace the bubble texture below it. It would be a shame to lose the beautiful bubble textures that we created in the beginning of this video. I think wash is perfect for this because it almost melts into the bubble texture, making everything appear cohesive, and it's just satisfying to watch, isn't it? The second portrait demonstrates this effect beautifully. Mm, chef's kiss. And it's my favorite. Go ahead and hit that like button if you agree. I wanted to create a portrait that was mostly green and blue with pops of pink and purple. I honestly think this one is the best because these are my colors and this is what I'm comfortable with. The third portrait was more experimental, and by experimental, I mean like broccoli in lasagna. It seems like a good idea, but in reality, it's not. I wanted to turn the bubble texture into her hair, but honestly, I think it's a bit of a mess. But that's okay. After working at this for a little bit, it seemed to come together. I may not like this one, but who knows, maybe it's your favorite. I 
wanted to try something different, and as a result, I have a very different portrait painting. I can always come back to this idea and try it again in another video. In the meantime, if you want to watch another video from my 100 Painted Head series, you can click the playlist on the screen, and I'll see you there.